Hi there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at an absolute monster of a filter. Nope, not really. <laughs> Everything you need for the filter is in here, believe it or not, and it's a canister filter. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. <laughs> now that is it in its entirety, well apart from the pump and the pipes. It is a very small filter for very small tanks. This one is actually only rated for up to 15 litres or 3.9 gallon tanks. Very, very small, hence the name True Nano. And this was sent to me by a guy called Marius. Thank you very much, Marius. And to be honest, this is a one I had never even heard of. I've never really been involved with very small, compact nano tanks. Although I am aware of their existence, I had never actually heard of this filter. Now, these filters are available in four different sizes, and that would be small, medium, large, and extra large, but even the extra large is pretty small compared to a standard filter. And as soon as I get that open, I can feel that this thing is really, really well made. But I don't even know what's inside it, because this is the first time I've had a look inside. I'll bring the camera in. Okay, so that's where the pump goes on the top and it looks like a click fit connector, which is very good. Nice to see. Nice to see that they've gone to that trouble. Uh, it's got a decent seal around there. That is for a CO2 injection, should you want to inject CO2 into there. And that is the pump intake. So the pump draws water through there and spits it back to the tank. And at the other end of it, that's where the water goes in, and again, that is a click fit connector. Okay, so that's pretty much a blank canvas. And this is going to be really, really easy to set this one up. <laughs> so the water comes in. We've got a little void in the bottom, which you could possibly get some of those really small Eheim mech uh, ceramic rings into. If I can find any, I will put them in there. Then you've got a little disc, which goes in the bottom, which just stops everything from falling down to the bottom. And then you've got a blue pad. And really, that is it. That's all you need. And some media that goes in the top, which doesn't come with the filter. That's up to you. And really, considering this filter is only marketed for a 15 litre tank or under, it doesn't need to be any more intricate than that. That will do. That'll strain out all the muck and then your filter media will cope with whatever you're stocking in the tank. The first thing that struck me actually when I took this top off is just how thick the walls of this filter are. That is really, really thick. It's exceptionally well made for such a small, simple little filter. Real quality. Get in, we have got some mech. Right, that's what we'll put in the bottom. So we'll, so we'll get the pad out, get the divider out, pour a bit of mech in the bottom. Awesome. We'll put the divider back in. Boom back in and now we're ready for some media. Now just in case anybody is unfamiliar with the way that I normally set filters up, if there is a little bit of room underneath the bottom tray or underneath the divider in this case, I will always try and put some sort of ring shaped media down there and in a bigger filter that would just help to settle out any of the heavy muck that gets drawn in but to be honest considering this pump it sits on here is only 300 litres an hour or 79 US gallons an hour. I don't think it's going to be pulling much heavy muck in there. I think the Ehi mech in the bottom of here might just perform the function of being a little bit extra biological media. It's something that you'll literally never need to check. Because of the limited size, I think I'll go with bio gravel. But I can spot a little bit of a problem because when I turn that lid, this intake here is going to be grinding its way through the gravel. 
so I might just have to leave a little void up here so I can't fill it all the way up it'll get most of the way there though that amount should allow me to get that top on and not yeah, there's too much in there balls and I don't want to start grinding it all up I better take some out okay so we're down to about 150 grams again in pounds or ounces or whatever I'll put that along there now oh, ha, ha, ha. so far so good it's just starting to catch now Yeah, that's it. So the top of it is finally on. 150 grams of biogravel in there, which isn't much, and unfortunately we're left with a bit of a cavity at the top. See how much space is wasted in there. Bit of a bummer, but because of the very, very compact nature of that, we're kind of stuck with it. However, 150 grams would render this suitable for tanks up to, wait for it, 15 litres. So it actually works out spot on. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. Now this little pump that goes on the top can actually be adjusted. Yeah, you can actually adjust it. Now that's a really nice feature. It's got a power indicator light on and it's got four other indicators which shows anywhere between minimum and maximum. And as I said before, the maximum flow is 300 litres an hour. And this pump operates via a USB, which is 5 volts and 1 amp. Now, I was going to say, if you haven't got a USB socket, everybody's got USB sockets and chargers and all sorts of things. But it does come with a little plug. I think that's set up for the... No, that's not... Mm. I was going to say, I think it's set up for the US plug but I don't think it is I think that's actually a Chinese plug looking at that I think the US ones look a little bit different anyhow you generally wouldn't be using that unless you were in China you would just be plugging your USB into a suitable supply and this is a beautiful feature the pump just slots on like that and that's absolutely solid until we release it and then it comes back out that's a nice feature yeah now I did have the thought of packing the top of this out with a bit of foam that was specially cut to go around these fittings however because we've got the seal right in the top I cannot really do that it would be a bit of a fart on and that by its very definition is a nano filter for a nano tank now this little filter does come with all the necessary pipes as well as the inny and outy for your tank. That's a fun. Yeah. So there you go, possibly the smallest canister filter in the world. At least that's how it's marketed. And after seeing hundreds of different types of filters, I wouldn't be the one to argue with that statement. I think it could be correct. Yeah, I can't get over just how well made this little thing is, even with that, you know, perceived design flaw of the top there, reducing the amount of media you can get in, you're still going to easily get enough media for the intended size of tank. And really when you go smaller and smaller and smaller for your tanks, the smaller you get, the more you either need it to be set up as naturally as possible and as well planted as possible, or, and, you need a good filter. That is a good filter. It's also quite an expensive filter, but it is on offer at the moment, and I'll put the link to it in the video description. Although it may not be on offer when you check the link out. Bear in mind the pump does come with everything you need, and it's currently on sale for $62.80. And if it wasn't on offer, it would be
Tell my wife I died of climate change. $119.80. I would imagine some people would still be willing to pay that price just for something so well made and quirky. Uh, but that's, I mean, you know, at well over a hundred dollars, that's, that's a lot of money. It's a, this is the sort of thing that because of its, its curiosity value and how well it's made, I would imagine even with the price it would appeal to quite a few people, especially folks who liked nano tanks that were set up as a, a miniature nature scape, you know? Uh, and I'd, at well over a hundred dollars, it's a price that a lot of people would probably pay. But obviously, if it's almost half that, then even though it's tiny, that's probably not a bad deal because it is really, really well made. Yeah, so if you're interested, check out the link in the video description. Hopefully it's still on offer if you are interested. And thanks again to Marius for sending me this. If anybody's watching this video and you're interested in other weird and wonderful filters, or you're just interested in finding out about your filter, which 10 million other people have, I do have quite a lot in the Pimp My Filter playlist, which I'll link to in the video description. It's also on my channel. I think it's probably is the second or third playlist down so check those out there's hundreds of hours of videos there thanks for watching see you next time all right okay so that is where our pump goes on the top and it looks like a clit fit clit fit oh my god i better edit that bit out